everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today for this bonus video of the probably the most exciting video that I'm gonna be filming. I am over the moon about this planner and I'm so excited to share it with you and share my setup and my thought process on this particular planner. As many of you know, I am a Franklin Covey girl through and through, and I probably always will be. I just needed to take a step back from Franklin Planner and I decided I wanted to try a Gilio planner. A little backstory quickly, I have been fangirling this Gilio planners for a while. I stalk people on Instagram. I watch amazing creators on YouTube who have different sizes of the Gilio, the medium, the XL, the, the personal wide, and I just fell in love. And a little quick story is back in 2017, when I, my daughter and I went to our first planner con that Louise hosted in San Francisco, Jillio was there and I met Mila. And I remember, um, I think that's how you say her name, pardon if it's incorrect, but I met her and she was such a doll in person. And she asked a bunch of questions about my planner and what I looked for. And she showed me their planners. And I remember just thinking they were just beautiful, but at the time I couldn't afford one. Fast forward to 2021 and I have been just in awe of the beautiful planners, the undyed, the gold, which I have. All the colors are absolutely gorgeous. They just have high quality products, right? And I'm all about that. So I took the leap. I posted a Instagram post and planner Denise messaged me and said, Hey, I have a personal white and gold that I'm going to get rid of. And I'd love to give it to you if, if you're, if you want to buy it. So I did, I purchased it. She sent it within a couple of days and I have it in unboxing and I think I'll post it here so you can laugh with me. I was so excited to get it. You have no idea. So I've known that this company is amazing because I met them at the planner con in 2017. I just felt it was way out of my price range for 2021. I'm doing really good for myself. Thank God. And my family and everybody's doing well. And my birthday is coming up. I'm going to be 45. And I thought to myself, you know what, Noelia, you never splurge on yourself. Just do it. So I did it. And initially I had buyer's remorse and I was going to sell it because I'm thinking, what did I do? Oh my God, what did I do? And then she arrived and she blew my mind away and I absolutely love her. Without further ado, let me go into the setup and show you my beautiful Gilio Campania Personal Wide with Franklin Covey inserts and a lot of my own personal inserts that I create either on Publisher, Excel, or Canva. So as I go through, I will share, you know, where I get everything from and I'll link Etsy shops down below. Okay, so let's jump in. So this is my birthday present. This beautiful planner is my birthday present. All right, here we go. So in this first pocket, I have some Poppins tags in kind of rainbow color. It's on a plastic sheet that I just had left over. That just fits snugly in there. Obviously my Ollie clip, these Ollie clips are from 2017 when Ollie clips was at that planner con in 2017 in San Francisco. We went early to try to help them set up and they gave us a pack of Ollie clips. So these are the only Ollie clips I own. So they're like random happy colors, which I like. I have this film with photos inside back and front. This is my daughter, my eldest son, my middle son, my mom, the kids with my dad out in the vineyard. My mom and I, when I was a kid at the vineyard that I grew up on, me and my family and me and my dad. So I made this on Canva and I just laminated it because I wanted to have personalization and have stuff in my planner of my children, pictures that I love. And these are all pictures that I love. I tried to get a picture of Lucy and Ruby, my two cats, but they wouldn't fit. And I don't have a picture of them together because they're little brats. Then I have all my Hey Planner Girl dots, and icons and creator series. I love Hey Planner Girl. If you haven't ordered from her, I strongly suggest you do. She's amazing. She has a digital store and she has a, a store where you can purchase and she mails stuff to you. I do both. 
so I keep that there just so that it doesn't kind of move around. This sheet I made on Canva. It's just hearts, black and white. In this particular pocket, I have checks. I rarely make checks, but there's one account that I have to send a check in for. So there's a couple of checks. In here, I have more, I think, stickers, nothing major. Again, from Hey Planner Girl. Back here, I have a little pouch and it has my bills and when they're due and the amount. And then I have my blog information and what I wanna do daily, monthly, weekly, or annually. It's kind of like a little reminder and then just a bunch of stickers. A lot of these are Daiso and Hey Planner Girl. So they get tucked right into there. This is from an old Happy Planner, probably journaling cards, I guess they used to call them. I don't remember. This is green and lime paper clip. I think I ordered it back in 2017. All right. So then you go to the other side. This I love this fly leaf. I just freaking love it. I have a shine. Um, it's a sticker from Just Add Sunshine Ink, but I have it peeled the backing off so I just have it there. I like color. I like color and let me tell you why. I know a lot of people are very into the neutrals right now and man do I love seeing these photos on Instagram. I follow so many accounts that have that natural kind of look where it's like you know neutral tones. I love that. I am such a simple girl in my real life. Like I am super minimalistic, super simple. I like things to be functional, which you'll see here shortly. But in my planner, I like color. And one of the things that when I prayed about my word of the year and all these things this year, it was about living life in color. I am so black and white. I'm so rigid sometimes in my thinking and in my in my ways that I wanted to kind of draw outside the lines and I wanted to live life in color. So my planner represents that. I love color. I love the rainbow. It, this is the reason why I purchase these monthlies every year. These are the her point of view from Franklin Covey. And thankfully this year, their color scheme is perfect. So I like that. I like color. I just love color in my planner. So this is a beautiful artwork. I absolutely love her. She brings me joy. The colors again is what brings me joy and she's just gorgeous. Then I have a really thin vellum that says Moxie, the courage and determination to live the life that you want and deserve. It's kind of a little mantra and reminder for myself. Then you have again, the Her Point of View monthlies on two pages. So this is what it kind of looks like. You have an index up front, three months at a glance, the month on two pages, and the back has a master task list, personal and business, so you can use this as a brain dump if you want. These plastic dividers, you can either use them for top dividers or bottom dividers. I like both but you'll see how I use mine. These particular ones for compact, I bought back in 2017 and they were from a company on Etsy. They're no longer active. Unfortunately, I can't recommend a different person because these are for, from 2017 and they've kept up. All right, and then like I said, the planner itself, the calendar itself is from Franklin Planner, her point of view, monthlies on two pages. Then you go to these dividers here, but this was a divider in the set and I just cut the tab off and laminated it to make it my dashboard in a sense in the center of my planner. And then the back of it, the Gingham Gardens two year at a glance so that it's just together and I don't have an extra page. So this one's a little thick, but I like it. This is a clear acetate. This is a plain piece of paper that I have April, 2021. This is my weekly section. I created this on Canva. Then you get into my weeklies. These I created myself. These are inspired by the five choices Franklin Covey that they make in classic size, but they don't make in compact. So I created, I took their idea and I created something that would work for me. I'm really particular about functionality. So I don't decorate too crazy. I only decorate on the areas that are kind of blank so that it won't monopolize 
the space. So I make sure that when I do decorate simply, like this is just simple stickers, I put it in places that it's not gonna take up writing space for me. So you'll, you'll notice that if you watch any of my plan with me's. So this is how it was before I had notes on the front and the back. And then I decided, I just get to the, then I was playing around and needed something different and I wanted to utilize that front and back. So I went ahead and redesigned the front and the back of my weekly inserts. So I created something that says this week, priorities, the top three things I wanna get done for that week, a meal planner, and then I have self-care goals. Um, I struggle with anxiety and depression, and so it's really important that I take care of myself, otherwise I spiral and burn out really quickly. So I have three things that I try to focus on, and then I just add some florals that I create on Silhouette. This hasn't really changed, it's just my weekly vertically, and then I have on the bottom priorities for the week and errands for the week. And it just, this works for me. Again, I created it. I love it. I have the, you know, the month, the week, the date that the week goes for. And then I put a personalized quote at the top. And for the month of April, I put be yourself, they'll adjust. <laughs> because I'm a people pleaser and now I'm very focused on being me and either people will like it or they won't. So this is again, another frosted divider. All my April weeklies are already in here, ready to go. Then you go to another kind of acetate and then a vellum that I printed on and then a black cardstock. And basically this says somewhere between Proverbs 31 and Tupac, there's me. <laughs> I love this. And then another old Ollie clip that my cat got into. That's why there's these little holes because she was biting through it. On the back of that, I like having these together. So that's why they're paper clipped. Hey planner girl, when you order from her, she always includes a card with your name on it. So I absolutely adored this and the little doily. So I added it to planner. Then I have a floral Franklin Covey bookmark and I'll explain why I have a bookmark here in, in a little bit. This is a, a thicker vellum that I purchased at Michael's and then I printed on it. Now this was inspired by I think it was either a Happy Planner cover or a Michael's Recollections cover. I was at Michael's getting vellum and I always look through the planner section and I saw this, this cover and it was a turquoise. I think theirs was like a blue typewriter and it had just florals bursting out of it. And I freaking loved it. And I was like telling Bella, I love it. She's like, mom, you can create it on Canva. And so I did. I created the little gold trim. So this is just a vellum sheet that I created on Canva and I absolutely love her. I love her. I, I think I'm gonna do a whole divider set around her. I haven't decided, so we'll see. Then I created just basic notes here with florals on them, blank on the back because I tend to doodle a lot. I have blank pages with the backs lined. Then I have graph paper. And at the very back, I have a very thin plastic sheet that I cut out from an old day designer planner and cut that plastic and then just added the printable freebie that cloth and paper offers for the post-its. So I had white post-its, ran these through the printer, and I did the ones that I really liked, which is the important notes, take note, and to do. Again, these are freebies from cloth and paper. I'll leave a link down below. Here is my to-do area. So in the past, if you watched any of my setups, you know that I have different kind of inboxes that I try out. This is an inbox that I had created. It says urgent schedule, follow up and complete, back and front. It was working for me, but I have a lot of, of stuff to do. And so I would find that I couldn't find specific things or I would, I was putting things twice because I was, you couldn't find them on my list. So I got rid of this for April and I created this sheet for April, which I actually started it in March because this just wasn't working for me and decided I needed to break it up. I created this insert. It's exactly the same. I just broke it down into, into quadrants, into four 
different sections. So I have a me section, I have a miscellaneous section that could be the house, that could be different things. Then I have my son and my daughter. And that way I can, when I'm starting to plan for the week, I can easily look and say, what are things that I need to get done or things that I'm waiting on versus you know scheduling things for my son or Bella. So this has been working phenomenally because I feel more organized and things are in their place and I'm not so scatterbrained trying to find them on this list of 50. Okay, so then I have my habit tracker from Hey Planner Girl. And it basically has a fitness, a wellness, my home, social media, health, and sleep. You'll start to kind of see what that will look like come April when I start utilizing it. This is something I created, again, a while ago, inspired by a Target dollar spot notepad. I love it and I love having it in here because it says stop procrastinating, things to do ASAP, soonish, and whenevs. And I just love it, so she stays in here. Then I have an order sheet when I order things and when I wait for them to come in. I have what I'm watching and then I have it Netflix, Apple TV, Hulu and Prime and Network TV and all the things I'm waiting on and watching. Just some plain to-do paper that I created on Canva. Then we get into goals. And here I have just a vellum sheet that I printed some really beautiful florals on Canva as kind of a layering effect to this self-love comes from within. This is a freebie from Tool and Twine Co. I will leave the link below. I absolutely love this, this daily reminder, and it just looks beautiful layered. I think it just looks gorgeous. So we have it layered. We have this freebie just on plain paper. What I did is, I double-sided taped another Franklin Covey two-year at a glance because I like to write down how much weight I've gained or lost each month. And then this is from Canva. I just created this with photo collage. This is also another tracker for me for my weight. This quarterly view is from Sterling Inc. Obviously, you can print it similar to my tracker. You can print it back and front. I chose not to because I like to just do the first three months. And then I use the back kind of like a vision board for myself. I just haven't completed it. I'm gonna be doing that today. I'll be putting the starting weight for each month and then I will accumulate how many miles via my Fitbit app. And then I check mark when I work out so that it can be a visual for me to try to be consistent. Then we have another vellum that I printed with the florals, the line art and florals as a layering effect for, again, another Tool and Twine freebie. Daily Reminder Volume 2, those two go come together in one sheet and then you cut them appropriately. They were made for personal size and I just cut them so that they would fit my compact size. Again, the planner itself is a Gilio Personal Wide. You can put personal wide inserts. I choose not to, I have compact size. So this says you cannot grow without making a change. Again, freebie from Tool and Twine Co. Then I have my daily routine. I have um, a couple of sheets that I'm not gonna share, which has my tracking of my weight every month and then my, my measurements when I started in January. Then you go to my social media. I have a Franklin Covey fold out. If you can see, it's a fold out. I'm not sure I like the fold out. It's really hard to write in it. This front part is for my Instagram posts. I write down how often I post. The back shows my YouTube schedule. This kind of keeps track of my uploads. Then I have a social media growth tracker that I created on Publisher, I think, and it just tracks my numbers, my monthly setup. Then I have my Poshmark. Again, this insert made on Canva. Another frosted divider, these are top dividers. 
I decided I was gonna use just the monthly in my reselling section so that I can keep track of sales. And it's just a visual for me to kind of keep track and see when I'm slacking off and not getting a lot of sales and motivate myself to share and do what I need to do in Poshmark to hit my goals. These dividers are from Franklin Covey. I don't know what set these particular ones are from. I laminate them to give them longevity. They can get worn over time and I love my dividers and I want to interchange them out throughout the years. So this is why I laminate them. This was a transparent post-it that I had from Daiso that I printed my morning routine on and forgot it was there and laminated the whole divider. So now that is permanently in there, <laughs> which is fine. And thank God it's transparent because it just, it looks beautiful with the floral in the background. But that is my that is really my morning routine, 100% my morning routine. And then you have another kind of photo collage that I made on Canva. This is the vellum that I made as a layering. In my family divider, I have subcategories and it's meals, trips, kids, doctors, home, and garden. So under meals, um, here I decided that I just needed ideas, main ideas and favorites of my family. So you have 40 ideas here. You have 20 on the front and 20 on the back. And that way, when I do an inventory of my pantry and freezer, which I do weekly, I figure out how much meat I have, of what variety, what I have in the pantry, and I try to make something based on what I have first before I go grocery shopping. And I only go grocery shopping now once a week. There's a whole other video that I'm working on explaining why I've changed my meal planning and my grocery shopping because I was spending an exorbitant amount of money. It was horrendous. So there's a whole other video coming on this if you wanna see. These are meal planner sheets and I like them because they're back and front. And again, if you remember in my weeklies, I have a section where I write this down. So this is more of a ideas, brain dump, what to make based on what I have in my pantry. And then it gets placed in the right location. I have a trip section. These inserts, again, they're Franklin Planner. I tend to use this more for the vacation travel checklist than I do the actual sheet itself. Then I have kids, and I won't go into that because it's obviously their teacher, their schools, their schedules, their days off, things like that. Doctors, I think I can go to the first one. The, I have my HRA and my FSA that it aligns with my online account. And then the back has each child and myself, all of our primary doctors, our specialists, phone numbers, emails. That way, if I'm traveling somewhere and something happens to Bella, I can call her orthopedic doctor immediately and he picks up. So that's what's in here. Then I have my home divider and this basically just has my chores. I have mine broken down by daily, weekly, weekends, monthly, and quarterly. It's just kind of an overview. I have a home project record. I have another vellum in here. I just, I love this and it printed two on a page. So I decided to put it here right before my garden tab. And it's just a map of what my garden looks like and what will be planted there. All my tomato seedlings that I have planted and how many I have things I need in my garden, how much I've spent so far. Then I have my bills section. Again, something I created on Canva via the photo collage. This is an old Happy Planner cover that I cut down to fit into my compact. And on the back, it has the stickers that come in one of the Happy Planner kits. And then I just laminated it. And then I use a Sharpie and fill in once I pay off debt and how much I've paid off in debt. Then I have my budget per paycheck and what I pay. Then on the back, I have any extra monthly income like Poshmark, income left over from the previous month that didn't go into savings. I have this bi-weekly grocery budget, which really I started using this month after I figured out how much I was spending on eating out and delivery. So I've been hardcore making sure that I'm staying within budget. And then I have a cash envelope. This is where my grocery money goes, but I went grocery shopping yesterday. Normally I take this with me. Yesterday I just, I was just like, just give me the 20 bucks and I'll go get what I need. 
This is a freebie from Hey Planner Girl. It's a no spend. She also has one that says low spend. And so I decided to use these. I have uh, March and April. I chose the no spend. You print it back in front. I just put a, a label, a sticker on there that says March eating out, no spend. On the back, it just has um, how you track your spending. Then I have the April one, which ready to go. Then I have daily banking sheets. So it's basically just a transaction sheet that matches my online banking. Then I have a bills due section, another calendar that I have all the monthly bills and when they're due. I'm a budget by paycheck person. So this is where I kind of reference and say, okay, I get paid on the second, what needs to be paid through the next pay period. And then I make that list and write it here. I have an Excel sheet that I've used for 20 years that also kind of just shows me where they get paid and how much is left over that should go into savings. And then at the very back, I have a Franklin Planner Productivity Pyramid. I have a Posh Pieces that she made me years ago, probably in 2018, that she's been in my planner ever since. My ring planner, I love her. I have a Five Choices little bookmark. And the only reason I keep this here is because it's the only bookmark that has a ruler on it. And I love that in case I need it. Back here, I have my removable sticky notes that I love and I use a lot in my calendar. I have these notes. I created those on my silhouette so that when I'm out and about and I need to give somebody information either for myself or whatever, I can just pull one of these out, write what I need and give it. I love these. They're super cute. This is just a piece of the remnant of this guy that I printed on Canva and I just put it here just to kind of make it cohesive. I have this routine I haven't figured out how to use it yet. It was part of a freebie that Tay Planner Girl included. So I have that there. If I wanna just journal, I take that out. Of course, you have the big pocket in the back and I've been utilizing that so much. I absolutely love it. I always had issues in my Franklin Covey compact on where to put eight and a half by 11 paper. So you can fold it and put it in there and it's perfect. And the way it works for me, I've said this on multiple other videos that I'm really big about top tabs and bottom tabs because I like to go exactly where I wanna go. So when I get into my planner, I wanna quickly go to my monthly, it's there. I wanna quickly go to my weekly, it's there. For the top tab, you'll notice I have just three. The first one is the key one for me because when I'm out and about, say I'm at a doctor's appointment, I go to this one immediately. I'm in my notes section because then I can just jot anything down and whatever's here will then get placed into the appropriate section in my planner. Same thing goes for if I need to make notes, I just go to to-do and there are my notes that I can easily get to. That's why they're at the back. Social media, same thing. Top tab, it goes to the thing that I use the most in my social media section. Poshmark, same thing. Goes to the, the area that I use the most, which is the calendar to write sales. So for me, the top tab and bottom tabs are just life. They're what keeps me functional and happy because I can get to a certain place pretty quickly. I think the only downside to this planner is that the pen that I love to use, this uh, Sharpie gel, it's hard to get it in and out of this particular thing. I gotta figure that piece out. I've seen people use a Ollie clip and put their pen there. With Franklin Planner, I'm used to having two pen loops, so I normally have a highlighter here and my daily pen here. I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to carry my pens, so we'll see how that works. But other than that one little thing, I am madly in love with this planner. I don't know why it took me so long. I wish that I would have listened to Mila back in 2007 when I met her at PlannerCon in San Francisco. I wish I would have bought one then. But I have this new to me Jillio now in gold and I absolutely adore her. I cannot tell you how much I love her. It's 
plenty of room for me. I had a lot of people say the compact size isn't gonna fit well because of the spacing in between. For me, I actually love it. It's perfect spacing. It, it feels comfortable to me. And secondly, when I close it, my planner inserts do not push against the pin loop or push against the edges or the strap. I like that. I know for many who who have compact, they like the medium XL and everything's very flush against the edge. I, I'm not that kind of person. That would have driven me nuts. So I'm really happy that I got the personal wide. So that is my flip through slash setup of my Gilio Campania personal wide. I'm genuinely in love with her. I, I just can't even tell you. I absolutely love her. So Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like this video if you did. And if, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me in ways that you can't even imagine. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you next time. Bye.